Hey everybody, Doug here. Welcome back to yet another board game channel and yet another turn of Eldritch Horror. We're trying to deal with Shubnigarath spawning her horrible monsters all over the world. Um, things are not looking terribly good. Uh, let's see, we're down to six Doom, which is probably going to plummet very soon, because we have too many monsters on the board. Shub Niggurath on Reckoning makes uh, makes Doom plummet if there's too many monsters on the board. Uh, Lola, oh god, I think we're going to lose Lola very soon. Uh, but we'll see. Um, we're actually going to make her the lead investigator. As, uh, this thing is probably going to kick in this turn. I'm pretty sure I, we must have a reckoning next. And the lead investigator will lose one sanity. Um, I was going to give the cake because she's got the most sanity, but she's lost in time and space. And I'm pretty sure you can't be lead investigator if you're lost in time and space. And you know what? Lola's probably going to die anyway. Uh, depends on how well things go. When she uses her shining trapezohedron, which is the first thing she's going to do as we enter the action phase. Okay, here we go, Lola. Uh, she's going to try to get rid of the carrier night gaunt. Even though it's not terribly hard, it's still gumming up London where we want to do our mystery. So, we're going to roll. And hope we get a 5 or a 6. We did not. So, I'm pretty sure this is going to be it for Lola. Because uh, the Night God instead moves onto her space. Well, well, we'll see. Because now, as that has failed... Oh, I should have put the camera over that way instead. Because uh, if she'd succeeded, I would have had her rest. Oh no, yeah, she's going to get hit by the Reckoning. Instead, we're going to have her move to Buenos Aires. Maybe she can get something good out of an encounter before she dies. <clears throat> because her poison is going to kick in. And um, do her in during the Reckoning. Which I'm almost 100% certain is next. Oh well, so be it. Next up... Uh, Luke Robinson up in London. Now Luke unfortunately only has one sanity left. So, um, he's going to need to rest. He can't rest in London. He can't move up to Hyperborea and rest there. So he's going to have to move to Rome. He's going to rest. He's still at full health, oddly enough. Uh, but he's going to take himself a sanity. To, um, yeah, he's going to heal up a little bit and uh, see if he can maybe get that clue while he's there. All right, that is it for Luke. Now, uh, Kate, who was lost in time and space, we'll see where she ends up. All right, Kate, as mentioned, is lost in time and space. So we're going to see swarming masses. And there we have some swarming masses. Among a swirling mass of stars, you discover swarms of alien beings that feast upon one another without hesitation. You try to find your way home without being noticed. Observation minus one. That is good. Her observation is five. So she got a pretty good shot at this. Oh my god, really? Okay, she is going to spend... Her one clue. Ridiculous. Can't believe that happened. Ah. No. <laughs> oh my god. Really, Kate? If you pass, we don't. If you fail, spawn one gate and resolve a monster surge on that space. Then place your investigator token on that space and become delayed. So she's going to. So, absolutely useless turn. Uh, all right. <clears throat> yep, pretty sure we are boned. Okay, so we're going to show up in the Himalayas. 
And when a gate spawns, it gets... Oh, yeah, we are going to have a huge amount of monsters on the board now. Because it spawns eh, as normal. Okay, Wraith. When this... When this monster spawns, the lead investigator gains a cursed condition. Well, that's Lola, who is doomed anyway. Alright, let's go through Haunted, Corruption, Corruption, Haunted, Haunted, Cursed. Lola, who is pretty much cursed anyway. Uh, so that's going to go on the Himalayas. Then we have to resolve a monster surge, which means we're going to add two more. Uh, all right, I think I've got, yes, I've got two in my hand. So we have a Shoggoth, which is nice and hard. Uh, on a Reckoning, it recovers all health. The Nopke, when it's spawned, move it to the Himalayas. <laughs> Guess what? Already there. And each investigator on the space will lose a health during the reckoning, so that will hit Kate. So, those will go there. Kate will come out and be delayed. Um, yeah, she is in massive trouble next turn. Because, yeah, she's going to get up and have to fight everything. Awesome. All right, uh, well, it's Wilson Richards' turn. Let's see if he can do what he needs to get done. Boy, this part of the world is a disaster, isn't it? Um, let's see. Well, Wilson could take a focus and then go and fight all these monsters, but he's only got two sanity, and he's still cursed, so he will almost 100% fail at least a couple of those sanity checks and he'll go insane and be out of the game anyway so i'm gonna stick with the original plan of getting him a train ticket and then using that train ticket to get himself to istanbul where hopefully he won't get utterly screwed over like everybody else this turn <laughs> All right, it's uh, time for encounters. Yep, let's see what horrors await us. Okay, uh, Lola in Buenos Aires. Rather improbably, this is actually the first time we're using the green encounter deck, so I'm going to give it a shuffle. Buenos Aires at the hospital. You find a bald old man with leathery skin and a flat face. He speaks very slowly, but his story is fascinating. You may become delayed to gain two spells as he recounts all the details of his time worshipping the Father of Serpents. Well, as I am quite positive that Lola is going to die at the end of this turn anyway, well, not die, get knocked out of the game, we're going to go ahead and take the delay going to become delayed, and she is going to grab two spells that hopefully somebody can pick up afterwards. So, astral travel. Glamour. When you perform a travel action, you may spend one sanity to move one additional space along any path. On a reckoning, we'll test lore and flip the card. Second, another glamour, azure flame. Each six you roll while resolving a strength test during a combat encounter counts as two successes. And yes, we'll test lore and flip on a reckoning. And that is almost certainly Lola's last action. All right, uh, let's see if Luke can snag himself uh, an extra clue up in Rome. All right, Luke, he is searching for a clue in a city. You captured one of the Brotherhood's knights. These assassins are rarely captured, and this may be your only chance to interrogate one. Observation. A whopping one. Thank you, Luke, for actually getting a six. 
if you pass, you question him briefly before he swallows a poison capsule, of course. Gain this clue. <clears throat> All right. Luke has three clues now. May just hand them off to uh, Wilson so he can... Um, no, he's, Wilson's not going to get to London next turn. It won't be until the turn after. Uh, yeah, not good. Okay, um, going to go to Kate, who's not going to be up to much over in the Himalayas. All right, Kate, surrounded by monsters, although it doesn't matter this turn, as she is delayed, and you don't undelay until an action phase, so... That's it. She is uh, stuck there, doing absolutely nothing for this turn. So, uh, we're going to wrap up the encounters with Wilson Richards in Istanbul. Alright, an Istanbul encounter for Wilson. An investor advises you well. Improve <laughs> improve influence. So he's now a plus two on his influence. He already had... A plus one. So we will just flip that over. So he's now got five influence. Uh, not that we have time to stop to get any assets or anything. We, we've got to get to London post haste. He says the sphere of destiny shows him the past and the future. You stare into it. Uh, lower minus one. So he's going to roll one die. Can we pull a Luke? Can we pull a loot? We cannot. Okay, we're gonna... No, I, I don't want to spend his clue. Oh, wait, right. He can just use the silver key as a clue this one time, allowing him to re-roll. Nope. Just making sure he has... Oh, you know what? He was cursed anyway. Doesn't matter. I... I, uh... Yeah, didn't they roll any fives or... Yeah, failed anyway. If you pass, if you fail, da, 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 eyes are looking back. Gain a haunted condition. All right, let's find haunted. I think that'll be... Yes, that's under the banes. So cursed, corruption, corruption, cursed, cursed, corruption, haunted. If you would gain a blessed condition or improve will, you may discard this card. But on a reckoning, we're going to roll. And on a one, two, or three, flip it, and terrible things will happen, I'm sure. Well, that was not a good set of encounters. All right. Uh, just realized something. Yes, I should have. <laughs> oh. Shouldn't have done this during the action phase. I will, I should have done this during the encounter phase. Either way, would have ended up being the same result. Oh, which means we couldn't have used Wilson to go over there anyway, because those horrible things would not have spawned until after he had moved to Istanbul. Right. Well, that's it for that bunch of misery. So... Dead, we are going to move on to a little bit of extra misery and the dreaded mythos phase. All right, here it comes. Yeah, reckoning. Oh, and <laughs> that that's promising. We're all going to die and tentacles. Okay, first thing, the omen track moves. We do not have, uh, this wasn't, no, that was the red. We don't have any blue, so we won't get doomed that way anyhow. But now the Reckonings. All right. Let's do some monster stuff. Well, let's start on the Egyptian sideboard. We still have lurking around this dark young. So we're going to roll a die on a one or a two. We will advance Doom. And, yep, a one. You're down to five. Uh, Shubnigarath is going to wake up very soon. Uh, do, do. All right, let's keep moving over. So we have, right, the werewolf 
move for this monster one space towards the nearest investigator, then each monster on the space loses a health. It uh, doesn't matter which way it goes. Kate's closest, but both directions are the same, so I'll just move it to this little pile of horrors. The not cat. Each investigator on this space loses a health. Kate is now down to two health. The Shoggoth would recover all health if we had been able to do anything with it. Uh, the Doppelganger. Right, same as the Dark Young. We're going to roll a die. Not a one or a two. Hey, we actually rolled a six. It's amazing. The, uh, okay, nothing for the vampire. The Honored Dead. Roll one on a one or a two. The nearest investigator becomes cursed. <laughs> Five. Okay, good. All right, the Migu is going to move towards the nearest clue and eat it. I'm pretty sure. One, two, three, four, five. Three, yeah, it's going to be this one up here in northern Russia. So that clue goes away. Which leaves us with a couple of cultists who are going to, according to Shabnigarath's sheet, we are going to spawn either a goat spawn or a dark young on their spaces. Uh, our one dark young that we were supposed to put aside for this is over in over in the Sahara. So, oh, and we only have one goat spawn, so we can only change one of them. So let's make it the one way over here where we don't care. We don't need to encounter that. So that cultist goes away. The other one just stays a garden variety cultist. All right. I'm pretty sure that was all the monsters. Now, Shubnigarath activates. We are going to, yay, spawn another monster on a random space, and there, if there are ten or more monsters on the game board, we're going to advance by two. We are going to advance by two. All right, choose a random spot first. So, if we check the clue, it will spawn in Istanbul. Right on top of Wilson, who's going to be getting out anyway. Maniac. As you can see, he's actually not too bad. If you fail the uh, strength test, you may discard... Oh, yeah, you may discard one ally instead of losing health. And if we win, we get an axe. So we can continue to go crazy in his stead. Then, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Count them, fourteen monsters. Doom goes down to three. We are in so much trouble. Okay, now the Mythos card. Our lead investigator, Lola, will lose the sanity, then we'll get rid of this card. This much matters, but we'll go through the motions, so she is now down to five sanity. Now, the um, possessions and conditions. I couldn't think of the word conditions. So, yeah. Lola, we start with, loses one health. That takes her out. Which means, of course, Doom goes down one more. Uh, yes. Lola's already in the city, so she is going to stay there. We will put all of her stuff aside. And, uh... Maybe pick her things up, but nobody's anywhere nearby. This is going downhill very fast. Well, we don't have to roll for the rest of her... 
or, or do the reckoning for the rest of her uh, items and things because she is just poop gone. We also don't need to bother rolling for her curse. Do uh, back in the bane pile. Next up is Luke. Uh, I keep forgetting Luke has a plus one to everything, so his rolls should be easier. Anyway, he just has one reckoning, markings of Isis. We will test his will minus one, but plus one from the markings of Isis, so it'll be going to roll four. And he's got he's got two focus and a bunch of clues, so he should whoa be okay. Or not. Let's spend. I'm gonna spend both focus to re-roll two of them. Oh my god. This is awful. Uh, Alright, no, I I don't wanna spend the clues. We 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 well he's got got three. We'll spend one. We will spend one clue. Put those aside. Okay, we got one measly success. The markings are a constant drain on your mind. Lose one sanity. <laughs> Putting him back down to one sanity, so he's going to have to rest again before he can do anything useful. Oi. Um, okay. Kate loses a health because she is also poisoned. We are now going to roll for her promise of power. We're praying for a six. We did not get it. Okay, Wilson. We're going to try to get his, rid of his cursed condition. We have even odds. We want a four, five, or six to get rid of it. Nope, he is still cursed. And we're going to see if his haunted condition kicks in. We roll a one, two, or three. We flip it. Yep, we flip it. Everything that could have gone wrong did. Each night, the specter visits your dreams, and each morning you wake feeling as though you have forgotten something important. Discard one clue, yay, and impair his lore. So he, misses, he loses his last clue. We impair his lore, putting it to zero, because he's only got one. Lose the haunted condition. Um, and yes, he needs at least one clue to be able to get to do stuff over in London in uh, as soon as possible is to turn. Uh, right, then we spawn a gate in Arkham. Serpent people come through the gate, which moves to the Amazon. What else is up with them? Uh, they have a reckoning on a one. Yeah, roll on a one or a two. Nearest investigator moves one space towards them, so they get pulled in. And now, the really bad news. Your anonymity was an illusion. The servants of the Ancient One know exactly who you are. They know that you they know what you are afraid of and they know how to hurt you. They will make you suffer until you can endure no more, and even then they will not stop. Each investigator rolls one die and loses a total amount of health and or sanity equal to the die. Oh boy. Watch, now we're gonna roll high, aren't we? Well, Lola's down, so we don't roll for her. Of course. Now I roll a six. Three. That means uh, Luke 
Luke is down, because that is his total. This is the, this is the beginning of the end, people. All right, I just have to decide uh, what what he uh, goes unavailable for. Oh, well, first of all, we go down to one. Oh boy, we are going to spawn up Nigareth, aren't we? Let's say sanity. It doesn't much matter. Okay, um, Kate, Kate can actually survive, she has to take it all in sanity because she's only got one health, so that leaves her at one health, three sanity, and now Wilson, who only has three, four, five, five total between, so if we, if we roll a five or a six, no, if we roll a, f uh, yeah, if you roll a four, five, or six, Wilson is also down. Two. Uh, okay, I'll take two health, I guess. Leaving him at one health and two sanity. Wow. That was absolutely a nightmare. So, that is that. We are going to lose. Because I don't see any way we could possibly come back from this. We're at Doom of One. We are infested by a monster. The monsters just keep spawning. Not even from Shub Niggurath. They just keep spawning from everything else. Uh, Kate and failing her... Failing her observation role. Unbelievable. Um, gave us three... Count them three extra monsters. One for the gate and two to, two for a monster surge. So, well, um, we'll see what happens next time. We'll uh, get a couple of new investigators on the board. Uh, but I have a strong feeling that in one or two turns, this game is over. But we'll see if some absolutely miraculous thing, may, maybe Kate's promise of power will finally kick in, and it just lets it, and it just tells us win the game. That would be wonderful. All right. <laughs> well, we'll see you next time. Um, thanks very much, everybody, for watching. Thanks for subscribing to the channel and liking the videos, both on YouTube and Board Game Geek. I appreciate it. And. Uh, battery ran out again, almost out of juice, just going to say, join us next time, or yet another turn of Elder Chore. So long.